Welcome back to the vlog lies. It's been a long time since I've seen you and a lot going on that I'll talk more about in the conclusion. But as you may or may not see, depending on what you're watching of, we do have better quality on this video. And we got we got a new phone. We have the uh, it's the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Today's video I want something I wanted for a long time. I've wanted to get um, the biggest and best JBL speaker I could get. I think sitting behind me, that's what we got. I hope you all enjoy today's production. Today we're gonna have a little message from our sponsors. If we had one to give out, there is no message from our sponsor because we do not have a sponsor for this video. If you would like to be in or sponsor a future video of Tommy Boy Productions, then please let me know in the comment section or DM me on one of my many social media apps. If you don't have them, I will put them in the description. But if you want to sponsor or be in a video, let me know. There is no sponsor for today's video. The day has come, ladies and gents. We're at Best Buy. It's too big to... This little peek here what we got. There will be more when we come home. So we just got back, we're gonna go up, we're gonna get this thing unboxed, take a video of my first reactions of it. It will be good, boys. You guys are gonna get my first reactions here. Start unpacking this beauty. Oh! I'm so excited. Okay. So, we got, first of all, to start, we got Pretty nice packaging as JBL does usually. I mean, even their back, they got like their, their kind of emblem. Yeah, I'll show you guys. Even on the back, they got like their emblem right here. Kind of like out a little bit. Oh, I need better lighting over here. Oh well, but, long story short here. Pull these tabs out on top and it should pop this off. And uh, as you start off here, you got JBL's Massive sound all day, same thing they got with all their JBL speakers. I hope they'll all go someday. But, all right, here we go. So we got gloves here. Voice check. But we don't need it. Alrighty, now. This big monster. Which, this is the speaker. Holy shoot. Oh, I love this package. This thing is about as big as my head. The subwoofer is about as big as my like whole face. Oh, look at that thing. Well, we'll place that over here for now. And then, so we got the packaging obviously holds the box in. We don't need that. We don't need that. Always keep these. I keep them in a special door up here. There's little silicone gel packs. Maybe you might need those. Now, everything's out of the box. So the box, it just like should hold for it. Should hold for the base too, but. So there's the, there's the speaker, boys and girls. And this is all the stuff that we're gonna, it's gonna help us run it. So first of all, we have the quick start guide here. Nice little packaging on it. You got your warranty. This is the go-to brand for portable speakers. No wonder you don't. You don't fuck with anything else. But go here, open this up. Very easy to open up. Um, and this I'm gonna expect to get a cord to charge it with. Yeah, that's your charging cord. It's uh plugs into a 240 volt plug. Yeah, it's not USB-C. This thing's a big bad boy. 25 hours of battery life, you don't need no. Nothing. That's all we got. The thing I think is you buy something this huge and massive and fabulous and like I want this. All you need is a cord. A cord, your warranty, and this. Everything else goes into your packaging, making sure that the product does not get damaged to the customer. It's a big speaker. You gotta make sure that it's taken care of. It's plugged in. This thing is like massive. I'm just trying to. <laughs> <laughs> the bass.
least like when like the JBL it sounds like but a boom like the bass like part the, or where I talk about kind of sit down and talk with y'all about this speaker and how how I like it how I love it how I want some more of it because the J, JBL boombox is probably one of the best I'm gonna what I think this is what well, this video is gonna be all about all but what I think and I think that it's one of the best speakers currently on the market if you're not worried about price now, this speaker is $526 after tax, but before tax, it retails at $499. I'm gonna find something to set it up on. There we go. Let's talk about the uh, JBL boombox, guys. So, as you see, we got, we got it here. I named her Big Thumpy. I've been using this speaker for probably a good two months now. As you can see, it's obviously got some wear and tear from the previous clip. Uh, this side came off. That is one of the flaws that I do find is JBL is big on their durability, but I use the speaker around 75 hours a week. And my conclusion from a like durability standpoint, the body is good, but the side woofer protector thingies, I'm gonna tilt it here. These side woofer thingy deals, they're not in the best the best condition because they do fall off easily. I've super glued this, probably both sides on at least two times now. You drop it once, you bang into something and it pops off. So first of all, we rated it on durability. Second of all, we're gonna rate it on sound. And y'all saw a little clip earlier. I'm playing free, no copyright beats, 2020 free instrumental trap number 11 by White Mamba on YouTube. In case there's a copyright issue with that, but I don't think there should be because it says no copyright, so. Oh, oh shoot, you know. sound test for you but I've used this speaker in many get-togethers with my friends and honestly I used it once on the TV because it right now I'm running it on a aux cord that goes to my computer so that I can use my phone to record I just love how big this thing is like it's too big to fit in frame whatever so second was the sound test this thing is one of the best sounding speakers I've heard Besides, unless like you're, you're comparing it with, uh, say a car stereo that's got a 410 inch subs in the back, obviously that's gonna be a lot better with um, an $800 pair of door speakers, Pioneer, Alpine, whatever. But for like the portability aspect, of, yeah, I'd, I've been told it's a little heavy. So I'm just gonna go through this website and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what they say and then I'm gonna tell you what I've experienced. Because it says maximum music playing time is 24 hours. I believe that you could get that, you could achieve that if you turn the bass all the way down on the JBL Connect app and you play something that doesn't have a really strong bass to it. It has more wattage going to the subwoofers than my sound, my Signa S2 soundbar does going to a separate 
a box sub. It has one big racetrack sub here, two, dri two drivers, and then two tweeters up here, which gives you that nice uh, studio sound. One of my favorite listening positions is just sitting right here with it. Cause you hear like say play, play bohemian rhapsody or something you can just really hear all the vocals in it and everything that you got going on but so max play time 24 hours i've gotten at most 14 to 16 hours i have a battery pack i believe it's right here i have this battery pack here it's a 99 energy star the only reason I got it is because it, it's got this. That's one of the bad parts about this speaker is it does take AC out, I think it is. It is this cord right here. As you can see, that's the one and that plugs into your speaker. And then this actually plugs into the wall, but I got this, it cost 99 bucks for it, but plug it in here and it charges your speaker. But with this, this can give me two hours of extra play time because it's not very good. And this thing takes six hours to charge. Weight in pounds, 14.7, so 15 pounds, <clears throat> which isn't that much because the handle makes it spread out, but I've been told it's pretty heavy. My main use for this speaker is bring it to work. I work in a warehouse. So the Bluetooth, it says Bluetooth 5.3 on here, but I just, uh, it's hard to find out bad things about this speaker. I've had compliments. I haven't got a bad compliment on it besides it's too loud. <laughs> but battery charging time. Yeah, it takes six and a half hours to charge. So that's another minus fact, but it does have a battery that's supposed to last for 24 hours. So you would think that it would take a long time to charge, but you would also think that as new as it is, it would it would be able to charge a lot faster than that or support fast charging of some sort, a different cord or something, but you plug it into the wall with a <clears throat> cord. You got 240 volt plug that's going into the through the cord into the speaker. It's taking six and a half hours to charge is a lot, I think. But six and a half hours, maybe the JBOX Boombox 4, JBL Boombox 4 will have more battery power to it or something. But hopefully the the future of audio, portable audio, is because this is still a portable speaker, even though it's the sub is bigger than my hand, or just about as big as my hand. Maybe they'll have a less charging time. So this is gonna be the conclusion part of this video because I talked about all, basically everything I need. I don't wanna, I could go on forever because overall Big Thumpy is what the name is of her. It's a, overall a really great speaker. I mean, I've connected it to my TV to have it with aux cord to have it play pretty good audio on there and be just good as a sound bar. I have used it at work. I've taken it outside. I mean, you can hear this thing. <clears throat> you turn it up all the way and you can do whatever you want. You can turn the bass all the way up, put it in the corner of the room and it'll rattle the whole room. Like this Big Thumpy is pretty, pretty nice. I mean, I'd say <clears throat> some of the drawbacks are, first of all, the durability, this passive radiator to cover on them falls off at the simplest deal, the weight and then the chart or the weight of it, it's, some people say it's heavy. It can get, and then if you turn out the bass all the way up, the mid all the way down and the treble all the way up, then you start to lose some treble because it puts so much energy towards the bass. And another disadvantage is the charge time that takes six and a half hours for a full charge, but that charge can last 14 hours if you're playing country music on medium volume. So pretty good. It's just been a crazy couple couple months since my last video came out. I think it was this spring actually. Yeah, I was kind of I went back home for a little bit and then came back up here and then I got kind of got consumed in work and then my next video is going to be the big thumper review and I'm finally getting her down. But I uh, hope to see all y'all next time on my next review. And as always, stay golden, folks.